Hey everyone, Tim Boris from Fresh Wellness Group. Now nutrition is a huge deal in health and fitness. So many people want to get fit and lose weight and losing weight people think they need to have healthy nutrition and they do but they think it's complicated. Today I want to show you that it's not. It's not complicated. If we had to boil it down to the absolute essentials, the right mindset, the right habits. Now, to dive into a little bit deeper into that, I've got seven essential strategies for nutrition success. First one, really simple. Eat real food. Straightforward. Not food type products or some process thing or packages, potions, pills, powders, all these things that are processed garbage that aren't real food. You know what real food is. Here's a great way to think of it. If your great grandmother couldn't tell it's food, don't eat it. Fruits, vegetables, high quality proteins, know where your food comes from, pretty simple. Yet most people don't do that. They're, they're trying to focus on all these, you know, what's this pill that's gonna get me this little small improvement? Eat real food, straightforward. Next one, eat at regular intervals and times. That's something that people skip meals all the time. Get up, have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner. Maybe there's a snack or so in between. Eat at consistent times each day. That's part of the habit aspect. Your body likes routine. Give it fuel at regular intervals. Very straightforward. Don't even get me started on intermittent fasting and everything like that. We already fast every single night when we go to bed. And you get up in the morning and you have your meals throughout the day. Straightforward. Manage portions. Portion sizes are straightforward, and you can manage them easily with a simple trick I learned many years ago. It's instead of having your uh, meal on a large dinner plate, have it on a side plate. Instead of having it on a in a big cereal bowl, have it in a small bowl. Shrink down the size of the the plates and bowls and cups that you're using. And that alone will make a tremendous difference for portion sizes. Straightforward. Next one, forget about calories and nutrients. Now, I'm not saying that calories and nutrients aren't important. They are. But if you're focusing on how many grams of this and how many micrograms of this nutrient you're having, you're missing the big picture. Go back to the first ones. Eat real food. Eat at regular intervals. Manage portion sizes. And you will get the nutrients you need. Now, if you're one of these small percentage of people that have some challenges um, processing certain nutrients and you need to focus on it, or you have allergies, that's a slightly different story. And you might need to focus a little bit more on a couple of the things that you're, you're getting in. However, for the large majority of people, and I'm talking 99% of people, you don't have to worry about calories and nutrients. If you're eating real food, you're going to be getting them and you're eating a variety of those foods. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Most people are so caught in the weeds of the, the little details that they miss the simple things they can do each day to improve their nutrition and their health. Next one is get in touch with your gut and digestive system. When we're eating something, think about how it makes you feel. Not no, emotionally as well, but also like, are you digesting it well? Do you have gas? Do you have bloating? Do you feel lethargic? Those things tell you what, how your body is responding to the food you're eating. So you can start to make better and more effective choices. Next one. Take time to eat meals and to share them with other people. So many people these days are eating on the run. They're like in their car, wolfing something down. They're not thinking about the food they're eating. They're not enjoying the food they're eating. It's just sustenance. Sit down, take some time, relax, enjoy the food. You'll actually digest it better. You'll taste the flavors, which means you're not going to eat as much because you're not mindful eating and just taking in this massive portion that you don't need to take in. Share them with other people. Food is a social activity. Now, it doesn't mean you go off the deep end and eat anything you want, but Eat 
and enjoy meals with other people, it's so much better for your mental health, your physical health, and your digestive processes. Last one is look at food and nutrition from a new perspective. And this is something that, again, most people are so caught up on all the details and the grams of fat and the grams of carbs and the grams of protein and how many vitamins they're getting in and certain things. And they're, they're not taking a step back and saying, food is part of the life. It's part of the fabric of life, social, uh, environmental. There are things, decisions we make around food that relate to that. And it's emotional as well. Understanding those factors and looking at what you enjoy about food, how it brings joy to your life, and how you can use it to manage and effectively progress toward your health and fitness goals is really important. So these are just some strategies that I work with clients on and that have had, had tremendous impact and positive impact in my life and my clients' lives. Text them out. I'd love to know your comments and post any uh, comments or responses that you have. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you want to learn more about fuel and nutrition, check out the fourth pillar of my book, The Fitness Curveball. You can find it at thefitnesscurveball.com or timboris.com forward slash curveball. It talks all about these seven essential strategies, how to choose the right foods, understand your own body. We talk about metabolic typing. We talk about all kinds of different things in this book, and you will love it. Check it out, timboris.com forward slash curveball or thefitnesscurveball.com. See you soon.